In the heart of the Jordanian desert lies a lost city, carved from sandstone cliffs, a place where ancient engineers defied nature itself. This city, known as Petra, is not just a testament to the architectural prowess of the Nabataeans, but also a symbol of their ingenuity and resilience. Imagine a civilization thriving in one of the most arid regions on Earth, where water is scarce and the environment is unforgiving. Yet, the Nabataeans managed to create a flourishing city that stood the test of time. Welcome to Petra, an architectural masterpiece that not only dazzles with its beauty, but also hides an incredible secret. The city is renowned for its stunning rock-cut architecture and intricate facades, but what truly sets it apart is the sophisticated water management system that lies beneath its surface. This system was the lifeblood of Petra, enabling its inhabitants to survive and prosper in an otherwise inhospitable environment. A water management system so advanced, it sustained an entire civilization in one of the driest places on Earth. The Nabataeans engineered a network of channels, cisterns and aqueducts that captured and stored precious rainwater. These structures were meticulously designed to maximize water collection and minimize evaporation, ensuring a steady supply of water throughout the year. This ingenious system allowed Petra to support a large population, agricultural activities and even luxurious gardens. How did they do it? Let's uncover the hidden genius of the Nabataeans. The Nabataeans were masterful engineers who understood the importance of water management in their harsh desert environment. They constructed an extensive network of dams, reservoirs and pipelines that channeled water from distant sources to the heart of the city. These structures were not only functional but also aesthetically pleasing, blending seamlessly with the natural landscape. The Nabataeans' ability to harness and control water resources was a key factor in their success and longevity. The water management system of Petra is a marvel of ancient engineering. It included features such as sedimentation tanks to filter out impurities, underground cisterns to store water, and terraced gardens that utilized gravity for irrigation. The Nabataeans also employed advanced techniques to prevent water loss, such as lining channels with waterproof plaster and using covered conduits to reduce evaporation. These innovations ensured that Petra had a reliable water supply, even during periods of drought. Today, Petra stands as a testament to the ingenuity and resourcefulness of the Nabataeans. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the new seven wonders of the world, attracting visitors from around the globe. As we explore the ruins of this ancient city, we gain a deeper appreciation for the remarkable achievements of its builders. The story of Petra is not just about its stunning architecture, but also about the innovative solutions that allowed a civilization to thrive in one of the harshest environments on Earth. The legacy of the Nabataeans lives on in the awe-inspiring ruins of Petra. Their advanced engineering techniques and sustainable water management practices continue to inspire modern engineers and architects. As we marvel at the beauty and complexity of Petra, we are reminded of the incredible human capacity for innovation and adaptation. The secrets of Petra's engineering marvels are a testament to the enduring spirit of human ingenuity. Petra was built in an unforgiving environment where rainfall was scarce and temperatures soared. With an annual rainfall of less than 15 inches, the Nabataeans faced a monumental challenge how to supply enough water to support thousands of people, agriculture and thriving trade. Instead of surrendering to nature, they found a way to control it. The Nabataeans, an ancient Arab people, were masters of engineering and innovation. They transformed the harsh desert into a thriving metropolis through their ingenuity. Their success was not just a matter of survival, but a testament to their advanced understanding of hydrology and urban planning. They developed an intricate system of channels, dams, and cisterns to capture and store the precious rainfall. This system allowed them to manage their water resources efficiently, ensuring a steady supply throughout the year. The water management system was so sophisticated that it could support a population of up to 30,000 people. The Nabataeans constructed terraces to reduce soil erosion and maximize agricultural output. They also built large reservoirs to store water for the dry season. These reservoirs were often lined with waterproof plaster to prevent leakage, showcasing their advanced construction techniques. 
the Nabataeans' ability to harness and control water resources was crucial for their trade activities. Petra was strategically located at the crossroads of several major trade routes, including the Incense Route, which connected the Arabian Peninsula with the Mediterranean. The availability of water made Petra an essential stop for caravans, boosting its economy and influence. The Nabataeans' water management techniques were not only practical, but also reflected their deep respect for nature. They understood the importance of sustainable practices long before the term became popular. Their methods ensured that they could live in harmony with their environment, preserving it for future generations. Today, the remnants of their water system stand as a testament to their ingenuity and resilience. Modern engineers and archaeologists continue to study these ancient techniques, drawing inspiration for contemporary water management solutions. The Nabataeans' legacy lives on, reminding us of the incredible feats that can be achieved through innovation and respect for the natural world. While rain was rare, the Nabataeans understood its power. They carved hidden channels into the rock faces, designed to catch and guide even the smallest amount of rainwater. These channels directed water into underground reservoirs, preventing evaporation under the harsh desert sun. The Nabataeans didn't just collect water. They stored it with astonishing efficiency. They carved massive underground cisterns, some holding thousands of gallons of water. These reservoirs were strategically placed throughout the city, ensuring every part of Petra had access to fresh water year-round. But how did water reach the farthest corners of Petra? The answer, an extensive network of aqueducts. These stone-built water highways transported fresh water across vast distances, supplying homes, temples, and markets. The precision in their design allowed water to flow smoothly, reducing waste and maximizing efficiency. The Nabataeans even used an early form of plumbing. They crafted terracotta pipes, perfectly fitted to transport water underground. This system not only preserved water, but also ensured a steady and controlled flow, preventing excess runoff and loss. Collecting water was one thing, keeping it clean was another. The Nabataeans devised filtration methods that removed sediment from rainwater before it reached their reservoirs. They built settling basins where heavier particles sank to the bottom, leaving purified water for drinking and daily use. This masterful water system wasn't just for survival, it fueled Petra's economy. The abundance of water made Petra a bustling trade hub, attracting merchants from across the ancient world. Its market streets were lined with fountains, public baths, and irrigation systems that nourished local agriculture. With access to stored water, the Nabataeans developed an agricultural system in the middle of the desert. They cultivated fruits, vegetables, and grains using sophisticated irrigation channels. This ability to grow their own food made Petra self-sufficient and even allowed them to trade surplus goods. But with water collection came another danger. Flash floods. Sudden desert storms could send torrents of water crashing through Petra's streets. To prevent catastrophe, the Nabataeans built protective walls and diversion channels to control and redirect excess water safely away from the city. The mastery of water defined Petra's success. Nestled in the heart of the Jordanian desert, Petra was a marvel of ancient engineering. The Nabataeans, the people who built Petra, were not only skilled traders, but also exceptional engineers. They developed an intricate system of water management that allowed them to thrive in an arid environment where water was scarce. This system included dams, cisterns, and aqueducts that captured and stored rainwater, ensuring a steady supply throughout the year. The ability to control and distribute water effectively was crucial for the survival and prosperity of Petra. It enabled agriculture, supported a growing population, and facilitated trade by providing water to caravans passing through the city. The Nabataeans' ingenuity in water management turned Petra into a lush oasis in the middle of the desert, attracting traders and travelers from far and wide. For centuries, its people thrived in one of the harshest environments on Earth. The desert surrounding Petra is unforgiving, with scorching temperatures during the day and freezing cold at night. Despite these harsh conditions, the Nabataeans managed to create a thriving civilization. 
Their advanced water management techniques allowed them to cultivate crops, maintain gardens, and support livestock. The city of Petra became a hub of culture and commerce with its impressive architecture and bustling markets. The Nabataeans' ability to harness and utilize water resources effectively was a key factor in their success. They built an extensive network of channels and pipelines that transported water from distant sources to the city, ensuring a reliable supply even during dry periods. This remarkable achievement is a testament to their resilience and ingenuity. But as trade routes shifted and empires rose and fell, Petra was eventually abandoned. The decline of Petra was gradual, influenced by changes in trade routes and the rise of new powers in the region. As the city's importance as a trading hub diminished, its population dwindled, and the once thriving metropolis was slowly reclaimed by the desert. The shifting sands covered the magnificent structures, and Petra was forgotten by the outside world for centuries. It wasn't until the early 19th century that the city was rediscovered by Western explorers, revealing its hidden treasures to the world. Today, Petra stands as a symbol of the rise and fall of civilizations, a reminder of the impermanence of human achievements. Still, its water systems remain a testament to human ingenuity, a lesson in sustainability and engineering that echoes through time. The remnants of Petra's water management systems are a marvel to behold. The aqueducts, channels and cisterns, though weathered by time, still stand as a testament to the Nabataeans' engineering prowess. These ancient structures offer valuable insights into sustainable water management practices that are relevant even today. Modern engineers and environmentalists study Petra's water systems to learn how ancient civilizations adapted to their environment and managed their resources efficiently. The legacy of Petra's water management is not just a historical curiosity, it is a source of inspiration for contemporary efforts to address water scarcity and promote sustainable living. As we face growing challenges related to climate change and resource depletion, the lessons from Petra remind us of the importance of innovation, resilience and respect for our natural resources. Petra's secrets continue to amaze historians and engineers alike. What other ancient technologies have we yet to uncover? If you enjoyed this journey into the past, subscribe for more incredible discoveries from history's greatest civilizations.